Hello friends! Today I am going to be showing you how to make this top inspired by one that I saw on Shein. I... oh my god sorry there's so much construction going on right now. I don't know if you can hear that. Probably. Shit. Anyway, okay, I'm just gonna talk through it. I'm sorry if you can hear that. Uh, there's literally nothing I can do about it. I, I wanna show you how to make this top I saw, or one similar to what I saw on Shein because it was, I, I don't know how to it. I have to look it up. Okay, I'm seeing lots of crochet tops. Here's one for $6, $14, $12, which is even worse than I thought. I thought that they were like 30 and it seems that you certainly can find some things for around $30, but most things are around that like $15 mark, which is horrifying to me because you might not be aware but crochet cannot be done by machine, like knitting can. It is made by a person 100% of the time. So when you see that crochet top or hat or whatever at like Target, um, somebody made that with their hands, stitch by stitch. If you're spending $15 on a whole top that is made by hand, you, uh, you know, do the math that person is not being paid very much. The materials are probably bad. The yarn that I bought for the top that I make in this video is around $15 a skein. I used two colors. So yeah, I <laughs> I don't know. And and some of these, they, they look very beginner friendly. Um, so if you are looking to pick up crochet, I definitely recommend these tops as a first project. Most of them are like tank tops or crop tops or like, you know, just small. Holy shit, these people are scaring the shit out of me. Anyway, these are really good projects for beginners. They're generally pretty small. Um, tank tops, crop tops, sometimes they're like bags, they're made of granny squares, whatever, whatever. But I will be showing you how to make this very cute frilly top. What's it called? It ties around uh, the back of the neck and it ties around your um, ribs. Very beginner friendly projects. Definitely recommend if you want these tops and you don't have the money to pay somebody to make it for you because I know it can get really expensive and a lot of people are not in the position to be spending money like that. Crochet is very accessible. The materials are relatively cheap. You can get them, uh, you can get them used. I'm sure. Um, something that I've been seeing a lot of people go do is they'll go to a thrift store and they will find a sweater um, that's maybe a little beat up and they will unravel it and use the yarn from that. So like, you know, it can be very accessible. At my local library they have crochet hooks and crochet books and all kinds of things that you can rent out there. So definitely check resources like that out because I don't know, my library is crazy. I didn't realize they had half the stuff they have there. For this project, I used a four millimeter hook. I used a weight four cotton yarn. I chose cotton because it had a bit more structure and we are making cups for this top, particularly if you are uh, larger in the chest, you are going to want something with a little more structure just to hold you in this up a little bit. So um, without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey babes, I also used a measuring tape for this pattern. I used stitch markers. You're going to need like two stitch markers. Um, I'm bad at this. I also used, you know, the obvious ones, Sti uh, scissors. Oh, see my doggy. I don't know if you can hear that, but he is resting and loving his life. This pattern is made to measure, which is another thing that I forgot to mention, uh, which basically just means it is made to suit your specific measurements. So you need a measurement measuring tape to measure your yourself. I like doing made to measure patterns. I'll probably do more in the future. Um, you can make them to any size. What is happening? I swear to God, every time I sit down to film, the house starts to fall apart. Stitch markers, measuring tape, scissors, darning needle. 
The first measurement you need to make is going to be from the bottom of your breast to the center of your nipple. Once you have that measurement, you need to chain that length. And once you do that, make note of how many chains you have made so that you can make the other side the same size. In our first row, we're going to double crochet in the side of the third chain from our hook and continue until the second to last chain. Now in that final chain, we are going to double crochet two, chain one, and then double crochet two more, all in that last chain. And then we're gonna double crochet down the other side. When you're done, your first row should look like this. Now for round two, you're gonna chain two and turn and double crochet in each stitch. When you reach the chain one space, you will again double crochet two, chain one, then double crochet two more in that chain one space. Then double crochet down the other side until you reach the end. You're gonna repeat this row uh, however many times you want to until you reach the size and coverage that you want. So here is our finished cup. I have gone ahead and made a second one. Um, and you can see that it like, can lie flat, but it doesn't really want to, which is perfect. Yeah, this is what it should look like. And of course, like, you can see that there are like some holes that you can kind of see. This really should be fine as far as coverage goes, but if you're a little nervous or like, um, you'd want it to be a little more modest. You can use like single crochets or half double crochets. Um, you'll just probably have more rows, um, but it should work out the same. So feel free to not use double crochets. Okay, so now we have to get our measuring tape out and take more measurements. <laughs> Um, I will write all these out in the description if you if you like need it written out. I would need it written out so it'll be written in the description if you don't catch all this. Um, but yeah, so the first measurement, sorry that's so loud, um, the first measurement we're gonna need is gonna be like directly under your breasts and around, and around your ribs. Like so, you're not gonna want to do it with a sweater on because that'll add some and and you want this measurement to be pretty accurate so that's what we're gonna call measurement a okay now you're gonna divide that by two that is gonna be called measurement B now you're gonna measure the bottom width of your cups I actually don't have mine on me right now Shit, I'll be right back. Your 
you're going to want to measure across the bottom of this. And it will be easier for you because it won't be attached yet. So that's measurement C. Now we are going to subtract measurement C from measurement B. And then subtract four centimeters. And that's going to be called measurement D. And what we're doing here is we basically are just trying to find the length that we need for this section here, you know? So that it'll go around your waist. Because we need to leave a chain at the end on each side. This, like from right here to right here, that length is gonna be your measurement A. And then we're gonna split it in half. So right here to right here is gonna be measurement B. And then we're measuring the width of our cups, which is right here, measurement C. It's the bottom of the cups, that's very important. And then we're going to subtract measurement C, which is the bottom of the cups, from measurement B, which is this whole length here, to get measurement D, which is this length before it reaches the cup. I hope that makes sense. If you follow my directions, it will work even if it doesn't make sense. Okay, it'll work. Start your foundation row by chaining 50, then placing a stitch marker in the 50th chain. With your stitch marker at the starting point, chain the length of measurement D. Single crochet across the bottoms of each cup one at a time. Now finish your foundation row by again chaining the length of measurement D, placing a stitch marker, and then chaining 50. Tie off. In between making my first top and my second, I realized that I wanted to add a row of single crochets right on top of the foundation chain, um, and I didn't film that. So in the instructions, it says to single crochet for the first row, but the video shows me jumping right into treble crochets. Um, yeah, that's wrong. Follow the 
written and read instructions. Thank you. To start row one, attach your yarn in the chain directly left of the furthest right stitch marker. This should be in between the stitch marker and the cup. Chain one and single, single crochet across until you reach the next stitch marker. For row two, chain three, turn and treble crochet two in each stitch until the end of the row. Now your top should look a bit like this. It of course should have that first row of single crochets, but it'll look generally like this. Now for rows three through six, we're going to chain three and turn at the beginning of every row and treble crochet one in each stitch all the way across. You can add rows if you would like to make your top longer um, or subtract rows if you'd like it to be shorter, uh, whatever works for you. Sorry if the audio is bad in here. I am in my bathroom with my phone. Um, yeah, I don't know. Oh my god, don't even tell me my mirror is dirty. I know. Yeah, this is very cute. I think the only thing I would do differently, and this was totally my mistake, is like I have made it a little big. <laughs> so I will probably... I'll probably not take this apart and make it smaller, but I'll probably add like another tie or something up a little bit higher just so that I can like tie it again or like, I don't know. It's very cute. I like it a lot, but it, it like has a lot of structure. It's very cute. I love the ruffle. Um, I don't know. I don't even think I would make it longer. It's so cute. It looks, it's so cute. I love it. So yeah, I'll definitely be wearing this in the summertime. Later, I don't know. <laughs> So I hope that was educational for you. Did you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. You can follow me on my socials. I have links in the description. I also have links to my website and my Etsy in the description. Um, as always, I have everything that is on my Etsy and more on my website and for less money because I really do try to encourage people to shop from my shop rather than my Etsy shop. More of the money goes into my pocket which goes then back into my business which helps me out a lot. Um, but yeah, if you, if you feel... <laughs> speak of the devil um if you feel more comfortable purchasing through etsy or whatever i have like all my patterns and stuff um available on my etsy um as well so yeah give me a follow if you have anything that you would like to see in the future whether that is things inspired by other characters or like cosplay things be sure to let me know i like getting recommendations i've been finding it a little hard to come up with um, ideas for a weekly video. I just get in these moods where I'm not feeling particularly creative. So anyway, let me know if there's anything you would like to see. You can send me an email if you don't want to comment, but you should comment because it'll help me. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think there's anything else to say. So I will see you later.